I knew going into this it felt too good to be true but I didn't follow my instinct I was desperate and I just moved right in I guess I'm gonna fail and I'm gonna have to go work at Walmart and I'm gonna be homeless I feel like such an imposter <laughs> We need to talk. My name is Tori, I am a nail artist and content creator and I paint silly little things on nails. Today I really wanna talk about what I wish I knew starting in the beauty industry and kinda of just like what I'm going through in the moment and my transition because recently I did transition over from taking clients full time to doing content full time which has been such an interesting thing and I feel like a lot of people in general on the internet they like to post about this type of stuff and talk about it when they come out on the other side and they can be like the success story I want to talk about it when I'm in the middle of the shit because it's not easy and I feel like it's better for you guys to see the reality of situations rather than just people coming out better than before I feel like that's so unrealistic and just not the fucking truth of the matter so I'm gonna tell you the real shit a little bit about my backstory I started doing nails about six and a half years ago um, in 2016 2017 I started off working in a commission-based salon I was there for a very short amount of time about three months and then I jumped straight into booth renting um, the salon I was booth renting from was a really low price rent and from there I just started to become more independent, moved down to LA, rebuilt my entire clientele and started doing everything on my own once again with a private suite, no commission, no walk-ins, nothing like that. So I was basically just all on my own and hoping for the best. I just wanted to paint a little bit of a picture for you about my journey. At the end of March, my lease for my current salon studio was going to be up and I knew that I was going to need to find another space to work in. The thing about being an independent nail artist is that it's not as simple as a regular job of just showing up to work and everything being there for you. If you do not have a space to work, you do not have a job. Knowing that, I was so freaking scared because my lease was gonna be up in a couple of weeks now. It was coming up so quickly and I had no idea what my plans were. Every space that I was looking into, the cost had gone up in my area and it would just be so expensive and hard to rent from those spaces and I was stressed out. I was at the point, and I know we've all kind of been there, when things aren't going well and your brain goes to the worst possible place and you just start going, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna fail and I'm gonna have to go work at Walmart and I'm gonna be homeless and every everything sucks and you start telling yourself these things and I really have to like when I get in that headspace I really have to backtrack and just start to be grateful for the little things that I have and go no okay I have people around me that love me I have a house I'm gonna figure this out I've never ever not figured it out in the past I have to sit there and tell myself that because if not I just spiral so just to explain to you the headspace I was in that's where I was at I'm stressed out I'm freaking out and I get this opportunity to move in to a bigger space for half of the price of what I was paying currently so it was probably like four times the space of my salon studio but half the price and I was like this is too good to be true <laughs> But at the time, I'm like, no brainer. It's an amazing opportunity, right? So I move into the space with a friend of mine. Everything is going well for about a week or two. And stuff just started crumbling around me. When I say crumbling around me, I mean everything was going wrong. Like me and this person were not getting along. My suite just needed a lot of work that i didn't really realize it needed until moving in such as like it had carpet and i need hard floors i was finding a lot of bugs around like it was just hell on earth like it nothing was going my way i want to say i knew going into this it felt too good to be true but i didn't follow my instinct i was desperate and i just moved right in with all of this stuff happening i'm starting to realize this isn't gonna work and i start daily like every single day the feeling of this is not working is just getting stronger and stronger and i'm a very like intuitive person so i feel like with that feeling i couldn't let it go like every single day it was more apparent to me how i wasn't supposed to be here and i started feeling it like deep inside i was like this isn't it i'm not supposed to be here so i'm back to square one i need to move where am I gonna go? 
prices have gone up everywhere dramatically and I'm like what the hell am I gonna do so I start telling myself well I've always wanted to move home and do content full-time I'm just gonna freaking do it and I had been talking to my boyfriend about it like I think this is what I want I think this is what I'm gonna do and he's like okay like let's um, break down the numbers let's see how much you need to make let's see how much we need to like what our bills are gonna be and this and this and this so he's like doing the more logical side of it and I'm just saying I need to not be here like I need to move my stuff home and do content full time and once I had that set in my brain I was like I'm gonna freaking do it there's no ifs, ands, or buts. This is what's gonna happen. I'm the type of person when I set a goal or I'm like, I get this idea like planted in my brain, I can't stop it. Like, it just has to freaking happen. So that's what I did. I took the leap, I moved my stuff home. My current brand deals were in no way gonna be be able to pay my rent i have no idea what the hell i'm thinking but i'm just like i have no option this is it this is what's gonna what it's gonna be so my boyfriend super supportive even though logically we're like i don't know how this is gonna work he's like all right let's do it we move all of my stuff home and in the next day or two I got another brand deal and that came in I was like I did the right thing like I made the right decision it just shows you how much like following your gut is so freaking important not just in this industry but just in life in general but at the moment I'm like getting all these DMs um, saying like congratulations and I can't believe you're able to do this you're amazing I can't wait till I'm in your position and I feel like such an imposter because while I'm getting all these DMs saying all this nice stuff to me, I know it wasn't like this well thought out planned thing that I executed and step by step got to where I wanted to be. It was like shit fell through, shit hit the fan so I could have the better outcome, if that makes sense. So like sometimes you see these things on the internet and you just go like, oh my god, I can't wait until I'm in that person's position. And you have no idea that behind the scenes, shit has hit the fan. When that's happening, a lot of you guys don't see it, like on the internet. We don't see what's happening to other people. So we just view it as like, oh my God, they're doing so much better than me. No girl. At the end of the day, I'm so extremely grateful. I'm so thankful that I'm in this position and I'm making it work by the grace of fucking God. And the way that everything fell into place is like amazing. But I really just wanted to be honest with the situation and like what's really happening while I'm in the middle of this shit, while I'm still figuring it out. Like I still haven't fully figured out or become secure in the fact that this is gonna work. Like I have no fucking idea. I'm taking it a day at a time and I'm hoping for the best and I'm gonna work my ass off and I'm gonna make it work because I know myself and I know I can do that. But it just goes to show that this isn't all what it seems online. To that point, I also want to emphasize the power of pivoting. I've been doing this it for six and a half years, like I said, the longest job I've ever had. Like since I was 18 years old, I've been doing this. And with that comes a lot of change. Like I'm 25 now, I'm very different from what I was at 18. And a lot of things about me have changed. My wants in life have changed. My needs in life have changed. So throughout the time of this career, if you want like a long lasting career in this industry, you need to learn how to pivot. You need to learn how to identify when things aren't working for you and then figure out how to switch it into a direction where it's still gonna work for you or it's going to fully encompass the person that you're becoming, not just the person you are at that moment. Be okay with letting go certain aspects of your job and taking on new ones what i want changes all the time so i have had to learn not to get comfortable to let things change to change with them even and to take everything day by day and just work my ass off and know that everything's gonna fall into place and have faith in myself and my decisions. If you listened to this rant of mine and found it useful or inspiring in any way, please comment down below and let me know. Also, let me know if you can relate to any of this because, you know, sometimes I feel like we all feel like we're going on this journey alone and 
we don't realize how many people are going through the exact same thing that we are, but we just don't talk about it. So comment down below. Let me know if you can relate to any of this. And thank you for watching. Let me know if you like this type of just chit chat video because I'd love to do more of them. And I will see you next time, friends.